lead head tilt. Uh, we as leads, we uh, are not necessarily aware of uh, certain things that happen to us um, where we are compromising our embrace and compromising our architectural structure, which we as leads are responsible for, not just our own, but the entire look and feel of the couple. So I want to demonstrate something to you that happens a lot for most, uh, for a good portion of leads, let's say about 30 to 40% of them. Um, and then somebody comes along and says, hey, you might want to stop doing that. Um, one of the reasons that this happens, before I display this to you, is because, um, uh, well, one is uh, a beard, two uh, is the face-to-face -face, uh, contact, which is really off-putting for some people, uh, and the third reason that happens most frequently is because you're wearing a, a pair of glasses and you don't want the glasses, you're aware that the glasses are in someone's face and you don't want them uh, the glasses in their face. So what typically ends up happening as a result of these three things, uh, there may be more, uh, but those are the three most common ones. What typically ends up happening is we as leads, we tend to tend to tilt our head away from our follower. Now there is the other, the other corollary to this is tilting our head towards our follower. So I want to show you what this looks like. So Yenny's going to be my, my dance partner for just a moment. And as we go into the embrace and she comes into me, I tend to tilt my head away. Now, uh, as you can clearly see, I've compromised the structure, the structural integrity of the, of the, of the, of the dancing pair. However, when I tilt my head upright, now you see the couple. Now, I want to show this to you from the other side. And it's really obvious what's going to happen there. Now I've tilted my head away from my follower and I'm not doing this so that I can see myself in the camera, I'm doing it because of, because of one of the three reasons that, we, uh, that I already talked about. Um, is this desirable? No, it is not. Uh, it's, it is an application of one of these three things and there are actually more of them, but those are the three most common ones. Um, so what do we basically want to do is tilt our head uh, so that our heads are in line with our spinal column. Um, that is the ideal thing to do. So that's head tilt away. Uh, then there's head tilt towards. And this one's a little hard to display, but I will do my best here. Uh, so as I go into the embrace, I tilt my head toward my follower. And you can clearly see that there is something seriously wrong with this. Again, I'm compromising the, the architectural uh, uh, integrity of the embrace by doing this. Uh, and it is not a pretty thing to look at. So one more time, and this time off angle, so you can see this. So as, as I come into the embrace, I tilt my head into my follower. And what I've done is I've started to collapse her nose, and she's feeling pressure right here. And at the more that I press in, obviously I'm going to get, go cheek to cheek or nose to cheek, and this is not desirable. Uh, uh, especially if you have a huge beard. Uh, the follower is going to smell that huge beard that you haven't washed in weeks uh, that you should probably wash. Um, ideally, again, what we want to do is tilt our head over, directly over the, the spinal column. Um, and this is sometimes hard for us as leads to, 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 uh, to become aware of. So it's really good that, you, um, that you're watching yourself in the mirror when you're in, in the embrace, or get a video camera or a smartphone and video, video yourself doing this. And you'll, you'll witness that this happens quite frequently. And the place that it happens a lot is when we are in turns. So that when I'm in a turn, I'm gonna start to turn my head away from my follower. And again, this is not desirable. I want to point out something that, that's happening here right now, but we're going to get to this in just a moment. Are, but I want you to pay attention to it, that there is something happening with my hands and we don't necessarily want that. <clears throat> but when I'm in a turn, ideally what I want to do is keep my head over my spinal column. That is ideal. But unfortunately, this is what happens, is that I tilt my head away from my follower and then I start looking at the floor and watching her feet. Not desirable. Instead, we want something else. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, talk about the hand thing. Um, I want you to pay attention to something. This happens, I'd say, a good you know, 20% of the time with leads that tilt their heads away. 
is that typically what goes hand in hand, no pun intended, is that as I tilt my head away, notice what happens to my hand. My hand tends to go away. Instead, we want this to happen. Make sense? Uh, at the same time, uh, that when I am in turns, I will tend to turn my hand away and tilt my head away from my follower and start this tilt. And uh, what happens to my body is that I tend to tilt away from my follower. Watch what happens. As I start this turn, you can clearly see I'm tilting away from Yinny. And this is, again, not desirable. It makes things challenging for the follower um, because you've literally taken, oops, sorry, um, you've <laughs> literally taken your torso away from your follower and we don't want this. Ideally, what we're looking for uh, from a turn, uh, specifically in close embrace, would be a Milangero turn that we just walk right out of. Um, and notice that I didn't turn my body away from my follower. Uh, that is ideally what we're talking about when we're talking about head tilt, uh, and I will see you in class. Thank you.